Hello, it's Peter Cam's man and Jack from BAM, and we are back for our July update of the sea wall. And wow, Jack, look at this. It's, a, it's an entirely different place, isn't it? Yeah, it's, 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 it's a completely different place from your last visit, to be honest. Um, I'm looking forward to sharing you around today, really. We've progressed really well since the last video and the last update, so Brilliant. lots to see. And um, I'm sure there'll be many questions on the back of this video. Right, and Jack, so what are you going to show us first? Um, so, since, your last up, uh, since the last update, um, the piling rig has now switched from where the new open and closed culvert is going to be built. Um, all the piles are now installed through that section. And yeah. the piling rig is working on the northern abutment, and then that'll move over to the northern pier. Um, we're working slightly out of sequence at the moment. Um, the intention was originally for the piling rig to move from the open and cl closed culvert section onto the section you can see behind us here, onto the Marine Parade interface, to build the southern abutment and the southern approach. Um, but part way through, um, when, we, when we close the, the section of the seawall here and part way through the works, uh, before we can do like any piling or any excavation, what we need to do is proof dig to make sure there's no services in the way. Yeah. Um, so when we were doing our trial pits by hand and excavating through, um, we came across an unknown gas pipe, which you can see in the, the, uh, in the ground there, that oh, little yeah. yellow pipe. Um, so we've had the gas board out. They came out the day after we found the pipe uh, and they have confirmed it's live. Um, we believe it used to feed the old kiosks. Uh, yes. Uh, so yeah. there used to be cooking apparatus and things like that down there. Um, but we can't actually pile in this area until that pipe's moved. And obviously, us not being the statutory undertaker, we, we don't have the You've licenses to, right. to, to move that. So that's all down to the gas board. So that's uh, Southwest Utilities. Um, so they came out last week to give us a price and a programme for that. Um, I mean, in, in the meantime, we've switched our programme around just to enable the, enable the piling rig to carry on working. Okay. So the piling rig has moved over to the northern side of the site to carry on the abutment for the link bridge over there and the start in the pier works on that once that's completed. Makes so sense. in this area, we've removed um, the existing sets and, and roughly where you're stood behind you there, um, that was the existing wall which came around the edge That's of the right, stilling yeah. pond which people, people used to sit on. Used to sit on here. Um, so just to give you an idea on, on a size and scale about how big this area is going to be, um, the bars that you can see in the background over there, um, are, and the blocks if you want to just have a little walk over, the blocks that you can see down on the floor there, they're, they're a, there's a perimeter wall unit to install around the edge there, and that will basically be the outside edge of the stilling basin, and it'll carry that line straight the way across roughly over to where um, the buckets are and the 70 ton excavator yeah. are on the back over there. So it's, it's going to be an absolutely huge area. It this is. Is, so is that further, further out um, than the old one? Uh, slightly, slightly okay. further out than the old Stiller Basin wall, but obviously in that gap before you couldn't really use it as a public, anything, yeah. public space, whereas, yeah. whereas now this is going to be a, a much bigger public realm area yeah. where there'll be a lot of seating roughly where we're stood on top of now. Yeah. Um, and um, there'll be also be another load of seating over the, op over, the, over the other side of the open channel. Yeah. Um, so as we come through here now, uh, you can see where the guys are starting to dig out and they do an operation, what's called cropping of the piles. So that little red attachment you can see on the right hand side there, oh, that, yeah. that's a four jaw cropper. We've previously seen that in some of your other, other videos. Um, it, it, we, don't, we didn't really talk about it much when it was here last time then. So on top of where I'm stood now, there's probably about 15 or 20 piles, um, plus the ones that you can see in front of us, which we've already started cropping down. Yeah. Um, and they are to support the foundations for the new link bridge for the new pier, which goes on the left-hand side here. Yeah. Uh, and then there will be a, a closed culvert section to allow um, Marine Parade to join into section B at a low level. So basically in this area, you'll be able to walk straight over at the level we're stood at now, yeah. and you'll also be able to walk over the footbridge right, between okay. the two phases. Um, in, this, in this area, there's 36 piles in, in total between the two sides. Uh, like I say, they're, they're all, all complete now and all installed. It's just a case of cropping them back down and reducing the piles back down to our underside of pile cap level. The reason why we have to pile from, from this, this level that we're stood on at the moment, and we have to crop them back down, um, there's a couple of reasons why. One is just to keep us out of the way of the tired. Yeah. Um, and the other reason is when you complete the piles, the par some of these piles in this area are 25 metres deep into the ground like <laughs> we've touched on before. Um, and what, what happens is, is as you pour the concrete up, you, you, you carry out an operation called tre tremian, which basically um, it's, it's, you, you put a small pipe that goes all the way down to the bottom. And as you place the concrete, you keep bringing the pipe up and up and up and up. Yeah. And what that prevents is aggregate separation in the concrete while it's still wet. Um, but during that process, you do get a lot of the, the kind of 
a, a lot of dirty material which comes up from the bottom. Yeah. So, so you have to crop the pile back down a minimum amount to remove all that kind right. of sediment that's still still within the okay. concrete. Because you, you don't end up with a, a very good structural pile yeah. really if you yeah. don't do that. If you don't I, do that. Here's some footage of that because I've lost some of that. Yeah. Um, so as you can see, it, that, that's the section. Obviously, the, the existing um, Gaulish water used to run through roughly where you stood now. Yeah. Um, you can see down there with the camera and we've got our wall preventing any water coming into this and diverting it through our temporary channel um, in roughly two weeks time and also dependent on when the gas main gets moved um, we should be knocking out that wall and temporarily re-diverting the water back through this section okay the reason for that is there's two piles that we need to install which are inside the temporary channel okay over um, there. so I'll just run over and show you Cut, two seconds So you can see, if, if you want to have a little look um, down down in the channel there. Oh yeah. Uh, you can see where the guys have. That, 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 that's a process called coring. So they've cored roughly the the diameter of where the pile is going to be. And what they'll do, they'll cast a lifting eye into the top of that section which is left in the middle, and they'll just pull that out, and it's like a, it acts as like a sleeve really. Yeah. Um, and our guys, the, the, the vanel, the piling guys, then will pile straight the way through that hole. There's also another hole, um, you can't see it, see it as, as, as well as that one, but there's also another hole just slightly up from slightly where that up, bit of yeah. relief is. Um, so those are the two piles that need to be installed. So we'll re-divert the flow of the water back through that, that section there temporarily. Yeah. We'll infill all of this with stone, install the piles, trim them back down to the, the channel level, and then we'll re-divert the water back through here. And that'll allow us to complete all of the permanent works over this side then. Wow. So the, the permanent works are progressing well on the front wall um, and also down the ramp, which I'll show you at the, in a moment. Can we have a little look at these, these yeah. cool locks? Because I don't think anyone's we've got any footage from this side. No, I think they've been, in, they've been installed uh, by our shadow team, to be honest. Oh, OK. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> you don't really see much over this side, really. No. We've not really done any footage. But there's, there's three blocks in total. Um, installed on each row at the moment so there's, there's three rows there that you can see um, the reason why no more blocks coming this any further this way is that's the start of the open channel so that will be where where it opens up um, and where it steps back down to allow the water to flow through that's going to be a, a good good public area isn't it yeah yeah huge, <laughs> huge. when you see it from this size yeah so, so I, th I think the 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 actual the actual walkway level itself um, and the actual promenade level will be somewhere roughly around the same height as that orange strap that you see on okay. that block. Yeah. Um, and then you'll have a perimeter wall in front of that. Uh, that will prevent most of the waves overtopping it. Yeah. Um, obviously, you'll, you'll, you'll still get some waves because of the level we're at. We're at such a lower level than what the promenade is at over there. Um, you will still some, get some storm events which like, will overtop the wall. Yeah, I suppose area. having that a bit higher here then will weaken the waves from going under the viaduct. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that, that's it really on, on, on the left hand side of the Stilling Basin. Yeah. Um, the right hand side, we haven't installed any of the blocks coming back from this corner yet, because uh, there's, there's quite a large hole to excavate there. And, and while the guys are piling over there, we don't really want to be excavating big holes next to the piling rig. Right. No. Um, so we'll just have a little wander back over to section B. So that's the first of six piles which are installed for this abutment. Um, as you can see, very messy operation piling. Um, you, do, you do bring up a lot of wet material from the ground because of how deep you're going down into there. Yeah. Um, which can't, can't really be helped, unfortunately. That's just the, the, yeah. the nature of a piling operation. Um, the guys are installing these piles on nights this week yeah. um, just because of how close they are to the track. Um, same as what we did with the, the top three piles next to that abutment over there um, and where we've, where we've done the piling for the, the closed corvette. So down the ramp then, oh, um, wow. the, last, the, last, <laughs> the last time you were here, none of the stair units were installed, no. the stair L units were installed. The stairs themselves, they're going to be going in in probably about three weeks time. So they, the stairs sit inside here 
Um, so there's a couple of structural slabs to do going up the top, yeah. where we've got all of our uh, temporary stairs at the moment. And then there'll be a nice wide staircase, double width staircase that sits inside of there. Um, and that goes in, like I say, in about three, two to three weeks time. Wow, amazing. As you come down then, you'll walk down the stairs and this will be the ramp going down onto the beach. Um, so we'll have a little walk past the tower lights. We've been surfacing down here. So this will be the new ramp down onto the beach and that's, that's all final surfacing. So we'll, once, once the guys have kind of finished up with the last concrete pour down the bottom, which I'll show you in a second, uh, this will all get jet washed off, cleaned off. And you'll have a nice access down onto the beach. Yeah, again, incredible progress. <laughs> and the height of this wall so is humongous. Uh, yeah, ah, yeah. The closest we've been to these... Um, the facing panels, ways. yeah. So those arches replicate where the old arches used to be on the front of the station building. Yeah. Um, some people used yeah, to sit along and, 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 and eat there. fish and chips and things like that. You can yeah. see where the sand's already started to wash back in on, our, on the ramp down here. Um, this will obviously fluctuate in levels as, as you get different storm events, different tidal events, etc. Yeah. So down, down here today, uh, the guys are just getting ready for a concrete pour, so they just need to um, excavate or, or finish excavating out all this material in here, and this ramp will go right the way down into the floor then. Uh, so you've got Harry over there, engineer, setting the lines and levels. The two chippies working on the shutters and, and, and readjusting them. And then you've got... Um, Martin, the foreman, overseeing the operation on the left-hand side. Impressive, mate. So that will be the end of the ramp then, yeah. down section B, um, going back into section C. Um, and there's, that's the final finished surface on the left-hand side. There's no fencing to go on top of there, not down at this level. Yeah. Um, what are these little diamond bits for? So that is where the lift and eyes um, ah, were for the precast units. Right, okay. So with the recurve units, we put them on the front of the nose now. Um, these are classed as L units. So if you just look out, look over, the, if you want to show a photo over the top, really, there's no nose on the front that we can attach any pre uh, any lift and accessories on for. Ah, okay, yeah, of course. So the lift and accessories um, that are cast into the concrete, they're probably about 250 mil, 300 mil deep, um, right. and they've got like a a big plate at the bottom of them to stop and pulling out as you're lifting the concrete. Yeah. Um, so you, when, we're, when we're doing the pre-casting process and when we're planning all the pre-casts with our pre-cast supplier, obviously that's one of our one of the factors we need to consider really how we lift it. Yeah. Um, not with not with these sort of size units, but the biggest the, the, the size of the unit that you go, you also need to cater for like bending moment in the beam if you're lifting bridge beams, etc. Yeah. All that sort of stuff. Okay. Um, and, and, and also consider the temporary lifting of the precast. So it might, some precast might actually snap in half if you haven't designed it yeah, all, of course, of course. in 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 a correct the correct manner. I don't know where we were with the last. Watch your feet through here as well. Probably just restart it when we come back round here. Oh. So as we come up into section B now. Um, this is probably going to be our next 10 days worth of work up here. Um, so we've been waiting on some, we had a couple of issues with reinforcement deliveries. Um, so we're just waiting on, the, we've been waiting for the reinforcement to arrive. Um, so what we're going to be doing up the top here is casting the structural slabs over the next two weeks. So joining the recurve units on the right to the L units on the left and also the L units which comes through the middle of the staircase here. And then this is what's going to go over to the other side eventually, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. So this will be where you walk through onto the link bridge to join section B to Marine Parade. And that down there is going to be where the new abutment sits, where, where the guys are currently piling at the moment. But the link bridge itself, um, that doesn't have concrete parapets either side. The link, bridge, the link bridge has got uh, stainless steel parapets with wire ropes that run through, oh, okay. through it. So um, that'll be quite a nice uh, viewing spot, to be honest, yeah. when, when, once it's built. Um, yeah, amazing. And you'll get, you'll get a, an overview of all of the work that we've done in section A then. So once, this, once all the seating's in and all, it's all surfaced, etc., you'll get a very good... Um, get a very good yeah. overview of the work that we've completed. New, new photography location for me. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> uh, the platform works. I, I probably won't go up there today, but yeah. the pla platforms over the last four or five weeks since the last video, they've just been continuing putting lighting columns up. Yeah. Um, 
and CCTV and public announcement speakers. Um, and that continues for roughly about another four weeks, I'd say, on nights. Yeah. Uh, we have to do it on nights just because there's too many people who use the platforms in the day. Cool, yeah, we'll, we'll get that next month then once uh, it's near completion. Yeah. Got, likewise, as always, if there's any more questions or, uh, yeah. or, or any feedback, um, you know, pop, pop, pop them onto the Facebook or YouTube vid video channels and I'll, I'll respond to them in the next video update. Yeah, yeah well, that's it. I, th I think, Jack, you know, you answered a lot of questions, but again, um, you, you, can, you can leave your questions on YouTube, on the Facebook videos or in our VIP section. Now, in our VIP section on the website, Jack's actually one of our members in there, aren't you? So yep. you can talk to him directly. And also, it's nice because you upload some photos uh, behind the scenes uh, now and again on there that, that don't make it to social media. So that's um, yeah. a handy thing to have. And there's, there's quite a lot of members on there who actually ask me a lot of questions. And to be honest, because the notification service that you get with it pops up and it notifies me when someone's asked me a question, I'm always forever, straight, forever looking on there. Really, straight on so, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. If you have any questions, put them in there. Um, but from me and Jack this week, thank you for watching. We'll have another one in August. Um, but if you are a VIP, a member, or a subscriber on YouTube, we have a video every week uh, of a behind the scenes. It's, Jack's not with us, but we get the drone up and get a bit of footage so you see what's in between these walks. So thanks again, Jack, and thanks for watching. No worries. Thank you again. Cheers.